for this workshop tip, I'm going to talk about paint storage. I saw this before, and this is not really a new idea. I'll just kind of show you what I did. This is a nail polish rack that I purchased off Amazon. This is the first one I got. And as you can see, I have paints up top. I have paints over here. I have paints laying around. I got Oh, I got paints down there. So I decided to buy another one to put right next to it. So what I did was I went back to Amazon, bought a different one, and I'll have all the part numbers and everything down below in the description. This is the second one I bought. Again, it's uh, listed as a nail polish station. And this one here, the difference being the first one I bought was $39. And the second one I bought here is $29. Eh, okay. Now the build quality on this one isn't... I can tell it's a little bit different. Uh, so if you're really concerned with you know, how things look you might want to consider the, the $39 one. It just seems the assembly is a little cleaner. There isn't, isn't as much glue residue and whatnot, you know, from the acrylic when they glued it together. Uh, on this one, there is. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but I, I can tell it's not quite the same quality of construction, but it's all together. It wasn't broken, cracked, damaged in any way. A lot of the Amazon reviews, people say they got things broken, but it came through fine. It was packed fairly well. It was packed in this box. This is just how it came, but it had, you know, styrofoam inside it, protecting it, and what's nice, it also had on the back this heavy-duty, it's not really cardboard, almost like a, a heavier board that I'm going to keep. That's why I have it out. You know, that could be used for painting, for when you need a, you know, a kind of a junk surface to use, so I'll keep that. And you could also take that box and cut it up too and use the heavy duty cardboard as uh, the same thing, you know, when you're spraying around a backdrop or you want to protect stuff. So, now this newer one does come with hardware. Came with this little small stuff for mounting. I'm not going to use that. Not to my workbench, and I have some heavier duty wall anchors with slightly heavier hardware just, just to be safe. I mean, it's only paint. I know it's designed for nail polish, and paint's probably about the same weight, so I don't think it's going to fall, but I had these. Now, I did have to enlarge the mounting holes slightly so that the hardware would fit. So I just carefully drilled those out with a 1164 bit, I believe. Let me just double check that here. Yes, that is correct. 1164 bit just to drill out the holes so this, the hardware will fit. Only had two at the top, so I added two more at the bottom here, here, and here. Not real scientific, just kind of put them where I did. I, I, I drilled a smaller pilot hole before drilling with a larger one, just, just so it wouldn't crack the acrylic. So, got those ready to go, and I'm going to get it uh, up and mounted. And we'll see what it looks like next to the other one. All right, there it is. Got it installed. And uh, seems pretty sturdy. And just uh, some other FYIs. Uh, in the top row, you can see I put a bunch of the, the craft paints. They, they fit okay. Only on the top row. Uh, they won't quite fit because of the distance between the shelves. So craft paints, I'm probably going to use the top row for that. Uh, if you have uh, Woodland Scenics or, you know, similar, some of their pigments, they will not fit. Okay, it's a little bit too wide. I suppose you could set them in there in the top row if you wanted to. But they won't fit down in there. Um, obviously, the uh, Viejo paints fit. The Tamiya paints, if you have those, this is the one third ounce, 10 milliliter pot. They fit fine. However, the Tamiya the larger ones, this is the, excuse me while I read this with my glasses on, this is the 23 milliliter pot. Okay, that will, that won't fit. Won't fit in there. Uh, things like adhesive, if you got some of the various plastic glues and whatnot, they will not quite fit. Oops, <laughs> won't quite fit. So for me, I'm kind of keeping all my adhesives over here. Now, obviously, things like the uh, microfoil set and the, and the various microscale stuff, they'll fit there quite nicely. So, um, 
the measurement of the shelf itself and I did this with a scale it's coming out right about an inch and seven sixteenths just below a half and it's probably not going to be too legible with my terrible light here uh, but that's about what it is I, I just took it and went to the inside of the shelf and it's about an inch and seven sixteenths so not quite an inch and a half I think they advertise an inch and a half but I'm getting just just below that um, but that's okay. That's, I, I'm going to put uh, one of the paints I have laying around now, mostly the uh, Viejo and some ammo of MIG products. I want to get them installed in there. I have a bunch. I had another little shelf here on the side for some other stuff. This is kind of all weathering type stuff, rust and earth effects and everything. So I need to organize this a little bit. But like I said, down below I'll put all the part number, the part numbers for for the two different shelves. They are two different ones. Um, very very similar you can see right in here it's a little bit different across the two manufacturers just how it's shaped up here um, and you can see the shelves look to be off a little bit maybe a slight a bit I try to get it as close as possible but oh and the, and the new one I got does come with this nice little polish station sign that we're not going to use but if you wanted to be really pretty about it you could always put a nice little now it's a paint station or weathering station okay but uh, so I'm not going to use that but it came with it so I don't know well there we go so now it's time to get like as all the other paints that are laying around here on the workbench installed I don't even think I don't know some of these fun and fancy this can be used for water effects they might be oh just fits on the top shelf again it's, uh, some of them are going to fit okay on the top shelf but because of the height of the shelves some of the taller bottles aren't going to fit so so there you go storage nail polish racks for storage again not a new new novel idea but uh, just wanted to show you if you're interested in uh, what we're doing here and what fits what doesn't fit and uh, you can see I got about uh, how many I got here so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 14 of the craft paints will fit across the top. Same on this side. Couldn't quite get, couldn't quite get the the 15th one in there on this side. Eh, I guess you could set it there, but it's not. You know, I'm not gonna do it. So, so 14 of those, and you can kind of see how the other items fit. Some Viejo washes, chipping effects. There's some of the Viejo pigments and powders. So I need to be organized because I had things kind of shoved in there, but so there you go. Workshop tip, kind of what we did, what we're going to do here for paint and weathering products and pigment storage.